My name is Ralph Ellenwood, and I also am running for the TUSD School Board. Uh, I'm running with Crystal uh, Foster as a slate, uh, along with Pam Waddick. Uh, it is our hope that we could bring a voting majority to the board and actually be able to accomplish, accomplish real change. A little bit about myself, uh, I am in my 37th year as a criminal defense lawyer. I was born here in Tucson uh, and have spent the majority of my life here. I'm also licensed in New Mexico where I lived for a while as well. I have uh, six daughters, uh, all of whom have gone to public school. Uh, one of my daughters is a senior at Tucson High. I have a granddaughter who's also at Tucson High. I have another daughter who is a teacher at Brickta, starting her teaching career. This is her first year. Um, so I have seen the school system from a parent's point of view for some time. In addition, uh, I have finished my third year on the Tucson High Site Council, which really was one of the motivators for me to get involved in this election because I got to see the budget process from up pretty close and in a very personal way to see how the allocation of resources uh, within the district made a huge difference. It was very fortunate <coughs> to have been at Tucson High, which is a, the successful high school in Tucson, has a waiting list of students and an enormous curriculum and wonderful extracurricular program that attracts students all the time. <clears throat> However, it still has an enormous dropout problem and has to do a great deal of remediation even uh, within the incoming students. One of the things I've learned, which I think is very sad, is that an awful lot of students get to the ninth grade and they still don't have basic skills to be successful in school. They, they lack the ability to use English, they don't have basic math skills, and their information uh, is so limited that they almost are doomed before they start. It is my belief that we really need to reallocate resources at a much, much earlier level in the educational process. Uh, I cannot believe, uh, both as an parent and just as an educated person, that children that are struggling, that struggle is pretty obvious by the first and second grade. And I think it's really sad that the school system, to USD and unfortunately across the nation, apparently addresses these deficits by simply moving the children up the, up the grade structure, dumping the problem on somebody else. What happens, of course, is that you have unsuccessful students who are not prepared for life and are really doomed to failure at a very early age. One of the other motivators for me was to learn anecdotally over the years that I have been practicing law that the vast majority of my clients, and by that I mean way over 90%, are people who never made it out of high school. That ticket is the ticket to prison. It is the ticket to being a drain on society. It's the ticket to social destruction, family destruction, and an uh, enormous expense for everyone else. It never ceases to amaze me that we're willing in Arizona to spend $25,000 or more to lock somebody up, but we won't allocate even a few thousand dollars to provide an educational foundation and opportunity for our youth. I think we also forget that TUSD, which is the biggest school district in Arizona, and 
encompasses basically the entire city of Tucson is our economic driver as well. This is where the workers of the future are going to come from. This is where the taxpayers are going to come from. This is where the social stability is going to come from. And if we don't do a far better job of providing an academic structure, a, an ability to be a critical thinker, and to engage fully in life, whether it's learning arts, music, athletics, whatever, that's all part of being an educated person, of being a whole person. And I have been very distressed to see the willingness of the current administration to cut programs that actually are essential to learning to be a critical thinker, to learning to be an effective citizen. And it doesn't make any sense to me. There's a huge pot of money here which I think is being misallocated and misspent on a very grand scale. Why? I'm not sure. But I'm willing to get in there and dig and find out. And my commitment is that I bring a lifetime of experience as a negotiator, as an advocate to the table, and I think the willingness to get down and do the hard, dirty work of trying to figure out what is actually going on, where the money's going, and how it could be so much better used. One shocking example to me is just how terribly we pay teachers. Uh, it, it's hard to believe that. Uh, we are paying teachers uh, less than $40,000 a year and uh, expecting them to do heroic work no wonder they leave, no wonder they're disillusioned, no wonder they're unhappy. And at the same time, we blame them for everything. Another part of that I think is key to the success of this in the future is getting families involved within, within the school system. Right now, uh, just to give you an example, we had site council elections uh, for parent representatives uh, and asked for candidates. We had uh, seven seats available, and at the time that we had our last site council meeting in May, we only had five candidates uh, to sit on the board representing parents, and that's with a student population of over 3,000 students. Uh, the lack of parent involvement in all schools, as best I can tell, is, is really a, a huge problem. I think it's important to keep in mind that there are some terrific schools in TUSD, but they're right there with absolutely terrible schools. And for the life of me, I can't figure out how you can have the same administration, the same pot of money, the same rules and regulations, and have schools that are miserably failing next to schools that are enormous successes. It just doesn't make any sense. And I'm convinced that there is a way to do this, but I think the rapid turnover of superintendents, the passivity of the board, and its unwillingness to work together in long-range planning has become a huge detriment. While I've been out, uh, I have yet not only when I was, since I've been a candidate since last fall, but way before that, I have never heard anyone ever say in this community a nice thing about TUSD. Whether they are an employee, whether they have children there, whether they have no connection, whether they're a business person, it doesn't seem to make any difference. The view of TUSD is that it's a big, huge, expensive mess that is not delivering what it needs to deliver, which is students prepared to be successful in life and be part of our community. So that's what I'm aiming for, and I hope that you will assist me. I have a petition here. I'd love to have your signature, and I have material which gives a little more detail about my background and thoughts. Thank you.